So you heal because you downloaded Windows and you Steam Deck. And there are some problems that you can get around and make your experience so much better. And I'm going to solve them for you right in this video. So the Steam Deck experience when running games on Steam is really nice and smooth. But when you run Xbox games or Xbox Game Pass games, then you're going to have some problems. Because these games are not going to see your Steam controller. A lot of people solve this using Glossic. But to me, I found that Glossic has so many problems. It causes frame rate drops in games and it's not really user friendly. So there's an alternative that is so much better out there and it's really user friendly. I left the link for it in the description below if you want to download it. I'm going to demonstrate how it works here. So this application will start as soon as Windows is booted. So after this, you will find it in the draw here and then you can do all sort of stuff that you would make your experience so much better. For example, you could uh, map the buttons to anything you want, change the button mapping. And uh, there is a mode here, it's called laser mode. So sometimes you would get double input for, in some games. So when you turn this mod on, it's gonna solve that problem of the double input and you're gonna play really nicely. So the next problem that we have here, a lot of people have been experiencing jittering with the games. And this is not just Halo, it's a lot of games and this happens occasionally when you're gaming. So it's not all the time, it just happens occasionally. So this, to solve this, it's really easy. Any game that you're playing, you need to go to the settings of that game. You need to see how the game is running, uh, which mode the game is running at. So you go to the video settings, for example, this is Halo. Uh, when you go to the video settings, make sure your game is running either in windowed mode, but it's not borderless, or it's in full screen mode. So either this or that will solve that problem. You'll not see any jittering. Uh, I don't know why. I think it's due to G-Sync, but uh, there's no G-Sync controls for the AMD driver for the Steam Deck. But then a lot of people will say, oh, you can't close the game if it freezes on full screen mode, which will bring me to the next solution I have for you. If your game freezes, then I can fix it for you really easily. So let's say you enjoy Skyrim and your game freezes and you don't know how to get out of it because you have a Steam Deck, you don't have a keyboard and mouse. So your solution here is just pressing the Steam button because the application that we downloaded in the start allows you to get to the Xbox settings and then you need to go to general, press on anything blue that would get you to the browser, then you can close the game and your frozen game is no longer bothering you. This problem is solved. So the next one is to do with performance. When you download Windows, you'll find that the fan is always running. That means that it's consuming battery, it's using so much power. So what you do here, uh, first of all, is go to Task Manager, and then you go to the startup. You need to disable everything, uh, except, of course, the application we downloaded at the start for the controller, but everything else, disable it. They will, this will improve your boot up, of course. It's not going to take 15 seconds to uh, boot up, and will make your experience smoother and your performance better. So the next one is also a performance boost so when you download windows it's pretty heavy on the machine i don't know why the fan is always running so what you need to do is uh, uh, go to the pc um, uh, menu and then you need to uh, go to right click it and go on the properties uh, after you go to the properties there's a setting button here on the side is called advanced settings click on advanced settings then the first one is called performance click on settings here and all you need to do is just copy everything that i have here you'll see that will make it more snappy the performance will be better the cpu usage will be less and this will improve your performance so into the next one so the next one is mostly to do with the taskbar since you're going to use the touch screen here and there and sometimes it's really annoying because there are so many icons in there so what you need to do is just follow what i'm doing here i'm gonna hide everything that is not really needed uh, not a lot of people use um so if there's something that you use don't hide it, of course but um just make your uh, taskbar a lot cleaner it's easier to use when the touch screen uh, the best one is hiding the search button uh, it's, it's still gonna have a button there but it's not a full bar of search because I don't see the need for that. And let's go to the next one. So a lot of people want to add their Game Pass games into Steam, but Microsoft locks the folder, so you can't really find the games in Steam and you can't really add them. So there is an app here. I left the link for it in the description below. If you download it and run it, uh, this app will look for the games that you downloaded for Windows. So it's going to look for all the Windows services, including the games. Uh, it's going to uh, load for a bit to look for the games that you downloaded and after it's loaded as you can see here we have for example uh, Halo Infinite is there so after you select the game you can go ahead and add it to your Steam uh, you can add multiple games at the same time and this will just export them to Steam and you'll find them there in the library with their thumbnails and that's it so that's it for me guys i really hope that you found this video useful if you have any problems with windows leave it in the comments below and i will answer them as much as i can or make a video about them to solve them for you so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you like the channel subscribe and peace